Hey guys, it's Shahid here. Um, this will be my first tutorial on Java programming and it's going to be on how to use Eclipse. And to anyone else, all my old subscribers, uh, my old videos were deleted because I wanted to do something new with my YouTube channel. So yeah, and it's all the new people watching this. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your internet browser, just open it up. And once it's opened up, just go to whatever clips.org is the site, and you're just going to want to go down to downloads. You're going to want to go to Eclipse IDE for Java developers, the first one, not anything else, right? And just choose Windows 32, 64. I'm on 32 right now, and just go ahead and download it. All right, so once you've got it downloaded and everything, just go to the open it up go to the screen and you should see something like this there might be another screen and if you're there just go to open up work workspace and you'll be right here so the first thing you want gonna want to do is create a new Java project this will just hold all your files all your source files as they're referred to in Java so just call it let's say tutorials you're gonna want to go to finish uh, press new package. This will enclose all your class files. And let's say first tutorial. Now remember that in Java, the first thing is never capitalize packages. Now you're gonna want to go to new class, and everything the first letter of the class file is always capitalized, right? So you're gonna go to tutorial one and you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna click public static void main string args right that's gonna be very very important right now just click that finish you're gonna end up with a screen looking like that and what you wanna do is just probably take those out you're not gonna go over that right now and yeah so this is your first screen this is gonna be your first program where it's gonna be made so now that you've basically known how to use Eclipse, like the basics of it, we're just going to type out a simple line of code and I'm going to show you how to run code and um, IDEs as they're referred to, Eclipse is an IDE program, runs and compiles everything for you. So if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it right now, but yeah. So your first line of code is going to be system, that's with the capital, dot out, dot print, ln. You're going to want to put brackets and open quotations, and uh, they do the closed bracket and closed quotations for you uh, once you've clicked it. You're going to want to say, hello world. And remember, every Java uh, line of script ends with a semicolon. Once you're done the line of script, semicolon. You always want to do that. And if it helps you remember, put the semicolon before you're done writing the code. So once you've written that, and I'll explain that a little bit later. You want to press go to this top play button over here. Press run. It's gonna ask you which one, which re resources you want to save. Just click OK. And down here at the bottom, it's gonna have a console, and it's gonna print it out right here. So it's gonna say "Hello World." This is just a basic program that pretty much everyone starts out with. So yeah, once you've got that done. Um. So yeah, it should look like that now, and that should be good. So now I'm going to explain a little bit. The system.out.print line is like a code, it's a method that Java has created for you. And you can use that at any time and it'll print whatever is inside of the quotations to the screen, right? So you said hello world inside there, it's going to print that to the screen. So let's create a new system.out.print. Let's just put print. Let's put quotations and let's put inside hey or let's put an answer actually let's say yeah hi put your semicolon at the uh, end of it and I'll press run look what it does it's just gonna create a new thing and it's gonna be on a new line because we specified that all right so let's go over what we did here that's different here we have LN and here we don't ln means line so it's going to create a line of code so it created that line of code 
and this means that it's not going to create a new line of code. So if we were to put system dot out dot print, and let's say how are you, it's going to go on the same line of code as hi, but not hello world because that's on a uh, separate line that it created with the ln. Alright guys, so that should be your first thing and pretty much everyone should have gotten that. There should be no problems there. Just remember to put everything between these brackets. These brackets should always be there and make sure you put your code between those lines. Alright guys, so hopefully that's good. Um, you can go to your console, select preferences, change color. So your out text is what the screen prompts, like what you told it to prompt. So let's say we change that to like blue apply and it's going to change to blue so you can just screw around with that if you want to and that should be good all right guys this is Shahid with your first java programming tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys uh come back for more subscribe and there should be more videos coming out at least three times a week hopefully seeing how everything goes and that should be good all right see you guys